My name is Emma. Uh, my name is Myra. And this is in between the scissors. Yes. So basically with online dating, as I, like I told you the other day, like the guy that basically had a long message and he was just ranting about his ex girlfriends and his ex wife, no, his baby mamas. Cause he had two plural <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and he went and I just like, I simply just asked him questions and I tried to engage and I had tried to get in there. And then all of a sudden he's still talking about these other females. And, um, at the end, I just basically acknowledged if I was like, okay. And he was like, okay, <laughs> just, okay. just okay. <laughs> And I'm like, yeah, I'm just acknowledging you like a decent conversation. And he's like, okay, well, let, let me know if you're uh, still willing to go for a date. And I'm like, wow, <laughs> wow. And I'm like, the fact that you have not even asked me once how I am is astonishing. Yeah. And you kept on ranting about four different women that you've been with. Interesting. And then he's like, and he's like, he's like, oh, I guess I got um wrapped up with the interrogation <laughs> and he hasn't spoke to me since i just so, left <laughs> the other day i was listening to this podcast and the lady she's wrote um several books one of her book is called certain men and she talks about the different types of men okay and okay. she says that you can get everything you want from a man in the first 20 minutes <laughs> of the conversation he'll Actually, tell you everything you want to know because okay. At that point, he's still not sure whether or not this is going right. anywhere. Or yeah. like, he doesn't have that fear because he, he has nothing to lose right. yet. But women tend to avoid those 20 minutes and just, yeah. you know, you have this image and you have this whole play in your head and, right. you know, like expectation of this man or whatever, right? right? So I found that very interesting, the fact that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually try it. <laughs> First 20 minutes. Let's go. <laughs> it's like speed dating. That's literally what speed dating. Have you dating. ever tried speed dating? No. I actually, I was very tempted to go the other day. I don't know. Would it even be worth it here? I don't know. They have a few events in Vancouver. Oh, uh, my Girl, God. I don't know if it's worth it or not, but it, it's oh going to be online God. dating for sure because the man is right in front of you. <laughs> I would just be staring. <laughs> really? I'm like, what am I, what am I doing here? What, What's your name? Yeah. <laughs> hey. Probably be like, hello. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like in a world of today, we're just so like, we're behind our screens all day. Yeah. So that would be, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. And I don't like, cause I'm a very outgoing person. And I am very talkative too. But when I go in front of like strangers, I'm, I observe, mm -hmm. like I'm quiet and I'm to myself and I'm just like trying to see how they are. Like, I don't say much. So people automatically assume when they first meet me, I'm really shy. I'm like, I'm huh. really not, <laughs> yeah. I'm far from that. Um, so it's, yeah, it's quite, quite interesting. We should do it. I want to, I want to experiment with it. I want to see what the, what's it, what is it about? Like I would have his microphone on. You have seven would, minutes with each guy. You get to sit down with 20 guys and there's like 20 age, guys? age range. Yeah. Cause it's like a three hour. Event. I would literally have the iPad in my bag recording this whole conversation. <laughs> like, sir, can you just grab the mic? Let's put it on. <laughs> get a little camera somewhere in my body. And It'll just... be confidential. Don't worry. <laughs> Just for, uh, we the purposes. world. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Girl, we gotta go together. <laughs> I'm gonna see when the next oh, event is happening. <laughs> oh my gosh, I would cry. That would be, it would be very interesting though. It they would have be them fun. in the US. <laughs> That's it, we're, we're doing that. Oh god, okay. It could okay. be a full episode. Okay, I think so. <laughs> Speed dating. <laughs> We went from online to in person. <laughs> yeah, we just switch, we just switched it completely. Yeah. What was your your worst online? My One worst. of them. Like in, oh, I have interested. so many stories. <laughs> I told you I made this my full time job for three months. <laughs> but I think the most interesting one was when okay, it was a guy from my culture. Yeah. Um he was in his 40s and he had a kid right. but his his divorce he's divorced and his kid was with the mom in london okay and he lived here and he asked me out we went it was good mm -hmm. we hit it off mm -hmm. 
the next day he started talking to me. I wasn't feeling it too much. Okay. Um, after a few days, he became very clingy in a way with text messages. And, yeah. And that was a turn off. To be yeah, honest. of course. And then after one week, he messaged me and he said, hey, um, I, I met these older couple and they have a daughter okay. and um, they're looking for a husband for her. And I was wondering if that, those were your parents. And um, in my head, I'm confused. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what what <laughs> and then i'm like okay what's this guy trying to do is he trying to show me that he's looking around to kind of get my attention right or is he for real right and i'm just like just confused i'm like no it's not me but best of luck you know <laughs> like i hope all goes well <laughs> i'm not looking, looking for, for a bride other. i'm yeah. not the bride <laughs> so he assumed it was you yes where did that assumption come from though because i'm arab and he's arab and oh yeah like it was like a, a it was like an arrangement thing here in canada in this year i'm like oh you know that okay mm -hmm. i think that was really weird yeah we did go on one date okay <laughs> Why? Just the one. Did That's he pay a... for everything at least? Yeah. No. He was okay. very generous. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he was looking for a bride. Yeah. Yeah. He better be. <laughs> he was just looking for a bride. That's flat out. Interest. Oh my God. I wouldn't even know how to comprehend that. I know like some guys get really attached, like right when you start talking to them. Yeah. Like they call you babe. Mm -hmm. Or like like within a few days they're like, I miss you. And I'm like, what huh. do you miss? <laughs> What, what do you miss about me? Yeah. And then they're like, oh, I just miss like talking to you. I'm like, yeah, you have nothing. Yeah. Because it's like, we've never met. We've never interacted. And I know like some people as well, like online dating, they want to go straight to um, a relationship. Yeah. And like, they want to meet you right away. But I'm just like, let's just talk for mm -hmm. like a little bit. But I'm, I can see both ways, you know, yeah. the perspective, right? Because I can see how they're just tired of it. And they just want to meet you to like, not wanting to meet you so i can so see both ways they're probably worried that it's not you in the picture oh yeah the catfishing, the catfishing. i've been through oh i oh what what have you been through oh, with that? The, oh <laughs> my god there's always a story with oh, that. <laughs> when i was oh my god this is before i had my daughter um i was talking to this guy <laughs> holy shit and we we finally set up a time to meet up okay and what happened was that uh he told me what he was wearing and i showed up there with a friend um because i didn't drive mm -hmm. and next thing you know I, I something fell off and i didn't okay. know what it was intuition <laughs> telling you <laughs> possibly i was like there's something weird about this because it was like a young person but they weren't talking like a young person mm -hmm. so it was like th it was throwing me oh, off okay, okay. so i'm like something's weird and i'm just like i just left it and i'm like okay i'll just meet you in person maybe you're just that type of person whatever old soul <laughs> yeah um in reality it was an old person oh <laughs> how how much of an age difference at least 20 years Oh, God. And, yeah, I've been, I've been through that. <laughs> like my friend, I, I told my friend because I walked in and I saw it and he didn't see me yet. So I walked back out. Then I told my friend, I was like, hey, I'm being catfished. Um, can you just like go in and like let him know that you're not showing up, <laughs> that that something happened. I'm not going to be there. Mm -hmm. And she's like, seriously. And I'm like, please. <laughs> Why couldn't you just leave? I'm not rude like that. I'm sure if it was the other way around, 100%. that dude would have walked out. <laughs> I just, I'm just nice. I don't like, I just can't. Okay. But I blocked him from the, I think it was from Tinder. So I oh, blocked okay. him from that one. Um, and then, yeah. And then she told him and, but she did ask, she's like, why do you look younger in your photo? <laughs> and he said, that's my grandson. No way. It wasn't even him. No. Oh. Because he didn't look like him. Oh, no. It just, he had the same outfit. Yeah, and I was like, you. I'm out. No, this oh, is like mind-boggling. And it just, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've experienced something like yeah. that. Yeah, why do people do that? Apparently, there's something with the algorithm that if they put down their real age, they can't match with younger girls. And that's what they want. They want younger girls. So they'll lie about the age and um, they'll put Whatever. different photos. Yeah. Um, thinking that when the girl gets there, 
she'll totally like maybe she can't see the difference <laughs> or maybe they're so maybe charming yeah. <laughs> that you know she'll go along with it I don't know <laughs> like like where does that get them like I think about that yeah and like it, I think about it with guys too I feel I feel for them yeah. because girls do it more often more often than guys yeah, yeah like they have makeup they have extensions they have wigs they have all these extra things that just can filters <laughs> yeah lead someone on to then just be like what the hell is this yeah. what am i getting myself into yeah. and it's it's pretty yeah it's gross yeah <laughs> So what's your opinion on guys that use filters on their no, pictures? No, I just, I can't. I, <sighs> no. <laughs> it just doesn't, I don't even like it on girls. Yeah. Like it just doesn't look authentic. Yeah. Um, and like when you have those filters that don't even show a nose, like they're so filtered. Yeah. That you can't even see your the complexion. Yeah, anymore. you can't see anything. Um, and when guys use it, and they use like ones to make their eyelashes bigger and their lips a different color. Yeah. And I'm just like, well, that's cute, but can I can I get a photo of you? Yeah. And they're like, well, what's wrong with the filter? I'm like, you're insecure. Instantly, I'm just like, I don't I don't need you yeah. to be in my life. And guys that um do kissy faces. Oh my God. In their photo. <laughs> I don't even do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe I did it like a while ago, but anything recent? That duck is face? not happening. They go, is, <laughs> with their lips a little bit open like they're a model oh my god you're not on gq here no. like what is wrong with you <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah it's like are you sure you want to match with a woman <laughs> <laughs> did you make a mistake there like, you on the wrong app yeah let's get some grinder in here let's do let's do that app instead yeah, yeah it's it's quite astonishing and yeah, and then you either have those those guys, but they're like, I don't know, they're, they're the most egotistical type of guys. They're the ones that are so full of themselves and their image that nothing else possibly matters. Because mm -hmm. I've been with guys like that, and it's it's quite astonishing. Like, I feel like they're kind of embarrassed to have someone by their side mm -hmm. um, for, like, who they are instead of they're having someone by their side for how they look because they mm -hmm. looks good on them yeah right so they want them for them essentially not want them for them themselves kind of like showing off with your partner yeah instead I'm of being way. with your partner in a way right like tr like trophy wife yeah. or trophy husband yeah but there's nothing wrong with that like i get it like you want to be valued and you want to be shown off and some people everyone is different mm -hmm. and what i see is that you can't do it all the time like you still need to like work on your relationship and and stuff like that like as far as like being with someone but it's 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 quite crazy to i can i can feel like i know someone based on the picture i don't know if that makes any sense hmm. like and, you can read them yeah and like their bio or they say a couple words i'm just like i'm good mm -hmm. yeah or like what's up babe i'm oh, done yeah no no thank you and Excuse me, I think that's like just based on personal preference. Because mm -hmm. if a girl says that, or if a guy says that to a girl, she might be like, okay with it. But for me, I'm just like, too old for this shit. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> just How would a guy feel or a man feel if a girl on the app just messaged, hey, what's up, babe? How would it be viewed? I think it would around? be fine. I mm -hmm. honestly think it would be like, because guys are just much more simple. Mm -hmm. You feed them, you give them attention, and... Uh, yeah, you fucking have sex with them mm -hmm. and they'll be happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's literally all they need. We, as women, we need some emotional stimulation. <laughs> yeah. We need all the things. But with that, like, men have a 24 hour cycle, um, women have a 28 day cycle. Mm -hmm. So with a man, I think their lowest peak is in the evening. So the testosterone is at the lowest in the evening. That's why you get morning wood, because mm -hmm. the testosterone is at the highest in the morning. And then with women, we have our, you know, menstrual cycle, 28 days, and we have three weeks out of four weeks. I don't know if you know this, that we're literally, our bodies are changing. Yeah. And it's, it's crazy. And it, yeah, it's like different um, semesters in a way. And it, I've, yeah. I've read about it and yeah. it's like, 
at one point you feel very outgoing and you yeah you want to work out and you're energetic and then there's another peak where you're like very low and you don't want to interact with anyone the week before the period yeah yeah <laughs> but we haven't been taught all of this because in schools or wherever we learn this we're taught that okay periods are like five days and this is where you're Literally. PMSing and this is where your mood is going yeah. up and down yeah but it's a, it's a it's a whole month yeah. process yeah it's it is fascinating um, we got off topic. That's okay. yeah. <laughs> um, anyways, the post you sent me about the dating with the rings. Oh, Pearl. Yeah, Pearl. That's I was like trying to think of what it was called. Yeah. Pearl. <laughs> Pearl. Would you do it? I would tr experiment. Oh, with it. shit. I don't but think I, I would. I'm if, carrying a gun. <laughs> I wonder how long it would take for it to be um, known, like socially known. Like It won't take long. No, no. I think it would be really quick, especially how like marketing teams know how to push it out mm -hmm. um and like with how phones communicate i don't know if you know how they communicate but even if you search up something let's just say i don't know engagement rings out of whatever oh, it's gonna go on my phone hmm. and because like they're they're communicating oh, with you okay, okay. yeah it's quite weird how that works but electronics are constantly like like contacting each other and like communicating with each other so i don't think it's gonna take long mm -hmm. for single people to do that um, as I expressed to you, my biggest fear is safety. Yeah. It, the, the biggest thing is safety for this, this experiment. Mm -hmm. Social <laughs> experiment, they called this, it. Yeah. Um, I found, I, so do men wear the ring too? Yeah. Males and females. Oh. Uh, everyone. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Correct me. Cause everyone, that's going to yeah. be all it. genders but and yeah. non-genders. Yes. Everybody. Um, like another thing with that would be. As you mentioned earlier, is that okay? So what happens if you don't if you don't feel like you're connecting with this person that's approaching you? That's the thing. I think, like as I mentioned earlier, we're so used to being behind our phones. Yeah. How the heck are we gonna reject someone? Are we just gonna walk away? Yeah. We can't just ghost them. We because they're right there. They're literally physically in front of you. Yeah. yeah. So and that's like where safety comes in. Like we have known as women, we we know that most men don't know what no means. Mm -hmm. and it's quite scary so and we can't just say oh we have a boyfriend because we're wearing you're, you're ring. wearing a ring like, <laughs> I'm, actually, like, I'm ring? lying <laughs> i'm cheating on him <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a whole different story yeah. but hopefully that doesn't happen um but i'm sure there's gonna be more to it i'm sure there's gonna be an app attached to it um i'm sure there's gonna be like people around your area i feel like that's what's gonna happen um I don't know if it's going to light up. Heck if I know. I don't know what mm. other stuff they're going to do that. Um, it's funny how rings went from uh, a representation of being in a relationship to now being a symbol. Yeah. To being single. Yeah. Yeah. Like I think, yeah, that's quite astonishing. Yeah. I think the bottom line, what I, what I take from any online dating is that um, all these apps are created to keep you single. It's a pimp app. Yeah. You're, you're, you're basically feeding your ego by swiping left or right. Yeah. And with the guys, I've heard many stories. All of them just say yes and see which one's the best one. And I'm like, you guys are animals. Like they just mm. say yes to every woman. Uh, yeah. They won't. And then they'll any. pick, they'll pick which one they yeah. want to talk to. But they won't go along with the conversations. I find. No, because like you become so de desensitized. Mm -hmm. You have so many conversations. You can't give your energy all to each person no, no. and you can't know a person, as you said, 20 minutes for a man, not for a woman. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take a lot longer yeah. <laughs> than 20 minutes. But what I've heard as well is that girls don't know how to keep conversations either. Mm -hmm. They, they, they'll like maybe say hi or keep the conversation short. You ask them a question, they'll say yes or no. And that's it. They won't say anything more. And that's quite, that's quite annoying. Like I can yeah. see that because guys do the same with me. It's like, hey, like, do you only have one picture? Add me on this. No, no. What are you, what are you doing right now? Yeah. What, what are you wearing? Yeah. Like, you want to play 20 questions? I'm a full grown adult. Mm -hmm. Why are we in our 30s, 40s playing? Want to play 20 questions? Yeah, yeah. Like what? <laughs> what is your favorite color? Yeah. And is, then somehow those questions turn into something se sexual. Sexual every I don't time. Know how. <laughs> every time. Every time. Like not even 99%. It's 100% yeah, 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 yeah. every time. Because the last like 10. <laughs> Well, what are you wearing? What color? What color pants are you wearing? Yeah, it and starts it goes, from the like upper surface and then down. It's like send me a photo. It's like no, I'm not sending you a photo. I'm not doing this. <laughs> like it's horrible. Yeah, 
And then I have like guys like, I don't know if you get this um, situations, but people just sliding in your DMs. Yeah. And like, but they're not direct. They're kind of direct, but they're not in like direct. Funny story about that. Oh, okay. Um, Here we go. So I went to this waffle house called Seven okay. Inch Waffle. Okay. You saw the story. Yeah. Yeah. So the waffles are shaped in penises and hundred percent. And then someone on it, someone from my followers messages and he's like, so was it good? Wow. I'm like, yeah, you should try it. <laughs> and then the next question was, how big was it? <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes. I did not respond. I'll be like, it was pretty big and I chewed it right off. It was, you should have seen it was bleeding. <laughs> Just told it, you have to go with it. Turn it into a horse. hundred percent. It was bleeding. It was bleeding. There's stuff everywhere. It was bleeding. <laughs> I felt so bad. I don't know. I got uncomfortable, to be honest. Fair. I just, I just, like, you didn't, but the thing is, like, what guys do is that you didn't, you didn't say no either. Yeah. So if you don't say anything, they'll still be like, oh, I still have a chance. Mm -hmm. For some weird reason. Even when you say no, they still have a chance. And if you say nothing, you still have a chance. Like, they'll keep, they'll keep trying. Going, yeah. yeah. It's like, okay, so if I had been like, okay, this is inappropriate. He would have been like, well, I just asked you if it was good or not. That's why you have to kill it with some humor. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to go. You got to go in. Like I said, go for that. Yeah. You're like, yeah, there's, there's blood everywhere. But sometimes you go in and it doesn't end until like it gets really ugly. <laughs> it's like, okay, no, and it's this needs to stop. And that's up to them. Yeah. Yeah. And like I've gone in situations like that with some clients and then I just have to let them know, unfortunately, I can't, I can't mm -hmm. take you anymore. Yeah. And it's, it's valid. Like you've made me feel uncomfortable. Um, or I just give them a shot and they come in, if they mention anything, I'd be like, look, it's not like that. Mm -hmm. Like I've, I've handled situ many situations and I'm sure you have as mm -hmm. well. Um, where you just, you, you just have, you have to shut it down because yeah. or else it just gets worse. Like the amount of times I've had guys hackle at me inside of a barbershop mm -hmm. is insane. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely insane. It's like, oh, do you want to go on a date? No. And then they're like in a different chair on a different day. And they're like, hey, that the offer is still there in front of all my colleagues. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, and I'm still rejecting it. Like, why are you still, you're embarrassing yourself. Exactly. Yeah. Right <laughs> yeah. Like, why put yourself in that situation again? Yeah. But they do. And that's okay. Like, mm -hmm. I just, I'm in the career and we're in the career. So yeah. it's part of the job, unfortunately. And um, it's like that with any job, to be honest. But I think it's more fair. exposed. We're more exposed to men because we're barbers so yeah have you ever had a client like eye gaze you while you're doing their beard 100 percent. oh god <laughs> how, do, how does the line turn out i just uh i just i see it at the corner of my eye and i don't engage okay yeah mm -hmm. um and if they keep on doing it like i'll just go through the whole session with it or i'll learn from that mistake and then moving on to the next one i grab a towel and be like oh i'm just gonna add a towel over your eyes okay yeah just <laughs> yeah they, oh, you don't, you don't, they don't even look at you because you're so close to their face. Yeah. It's like they're looking through your soul at that point. <laughs> what, uh, sometimes they're like, okay, can you close your eyes? Please? Yeah. I know some guys do it because they wear glasses. Mm -hmm. So when I'm that close, they can see better. Um, but the ones that don't wear glasses, I'm just like, I'm, ew, stop it. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've actually fucked up someone's line before because of that, but... You know, I was like, I, I don't even care if this guy sits in my chair again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Like, actually? Yeah. Like, you know, not on purpose, but I got so uncomfortable. uncomfortable yeah. And then it's like, I can't do my job properly. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah. 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 You gotta. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. It's a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, so okay, what covers else? online dating, yeah. speed dating, yeah, yeah. pearl dating. Pearl, pearl. <laughs> that one's going to be mind-boggling. <laughs> Do you even know when that one's going to be out? Do you know when it's supposed to start? I have no idea. I'm going to look into it, actually. Are you going to do it? I'm um, so scared of doing it. Like, I will be holding a weapon with me. I don't, <laughs> I don't even care. Probably not wear it at work because oh, it will hell kinda, no. like... Oh, hell no. Eh, no. No, hell no. Um, I'll maybe try it a few times going out, see where it gets me. Is this now a social experiment for a podcast? Why not? Oh shit. They want to experiment on us. We got to experiment on them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm very picky. I'll just be like, just walk away. Yeah. I'll be like, Ugh. 
Maybe pretend that I'm deaf. <laughs> okay. That's sign language. Or <laughs> That's an extreme. <laughs> That's such an extreme situation. <laughs> Next thing you know, you have these blind glasses, and you look at them, and you're like, <laughs> pull out the stick hey, and just. Way out. <laughs> Oh my, it is, yeah. but <laughs> damn. I'll have one of those sign language cards with me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be wild. Oh God. That... <laughs> it would be, it, it would be wild. And then like with online dating too, like I know there's, there's so, there's so many different ones now. Um, there's like, so there's Tinder, mm -hmm. there's B Bumble. Uh, hinge and I know with bumble that's the only one correct me if I'm wrong it's the only one where the, the girl messages you or the guy I don't know oh, I've been on Cinderella I don't know if it's called Cinderella or Tinderella 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 yes what's that so they have a time limit let's say I message I message a, a guy and uh, they have like three days to respond before it like vanishes so they kind of put a limit Okay. Because usually when people match, they don't start a conversation. Right. So it kind of pushes you into the conversation. Right. Did yeah. it work? No. <laughs> <laughs> it was the worst app. <laughs> I got curious about it, to be honest. Because I was like, Tinderella. I was on Hinge for three months. And I'm like, like I'm matching with all these guys. And um, like out of 10 guys, I'll, I'll meet up with one. Yeah. But I'm putting out energy towards 10. And it got exhausting. Mm-hmm. So eventually I did this thing where I'm like, okay, I'll only open three chats at a time. Okay. So I'll only match with three people at a time and I'll give them 24 hours. Okay. So you did that internally. Yeah. Okay. And I would literally, if the conversation doesn't start right. within 24 hours, I will unmatch. If oh, it damn. starts, Look at you. if it starts and doesn't go anywhere, unmatch because I didn't have any more energy to put up with all yeah. of these different profiles. Right. Yeah. A lot of them are shady too. Like a lot of them want to keep you in their it's to feed their egos. Yeah, yeah. But they'll only message you once they don't have anyone else. Yeah. You know? So it's like I don't even want to be your like yeah, what, yeah. fifth option at this point. So, yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Or they message you and then they stop talking to you and like three weeks later they probably went through the whole oh little cycle God, and yeah, then they I've message had you that again before and yeah. it's like you're still alive yeah <laughs> you just i asked you a question three weeks ago and you didn't answer yeah where, where were you in three weeks <laughs> and the funny thing is that they probably won't even answer the question they'll just be like hey 100 hey, <laughs> percent. Yeah. like nothing ever happened exactly and then like i've done that before and i've yeah. called them out i'm like hey like so you can answer the question they're like what question <laughs> <laughs> and i'm like you can't tell me like where were you like this many times they're like oh it's just i got caught up and stuff yeah and i'm like or I don't open the app that much. Oh God, Bullshit. you are not too busy for anything. When someone wants to do it, they will, they will do it. So I'm just like, hmm, okay. How are all the other 20 girls that you probably talked to? It's you insane. run out? It's insane. And yeah, it's, it's honestly, it's simply just created to stay single. Yeah. It just, it fucking sucks. And I've, I've heard success stories. Don't get me wrong. Um, but in my head, I'm still questioning it because I'm just like, are you actually happy? Mm. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. Like, or are you just comfortable? Mm. Like, so I question that when you do these like online dates, like, are you legit happy or are you just comfortable because you're getting older and you're tired and lonelier and you yeah. just want to kind of settle? So are they, do you think it's more important to be compatible or to be attracted to someone? compatible compatible yeah because attraction you will lose it as you mm -hmm. get older you can't maintain that mm -hmm. but if you're compatible if you guys can see eye to eye on values morals like everything not everything but there's gonna be some differences that's gonna go for the longevity till the day you die mm -hmm. yeah so like i'm gonna grow older our skin's gonna sag our boobs are gonna hang to the ground and their nut sacks are gonna touch the ground with mm -hmm. it so yeah. like who fucking cares how mm -hmm. you're gonna look unless you're like a rich celebrity with money yeah like you will just it, it just maintaining <laughs> it just doesn't make sense even like people like girls with boob jobs don't get me wrong like i get it I, i'm in the itty bitty titty gang like i get it um it just if you can't maintain it don't do it because mm -hmm. you actually have to get it done like about every 15 years yeah that's correct um and then from that you can you can keep them longer 
but they're more sustainable to break and, mm -hmm. and collapse. And people don't realize that. People think they have them now and they'll keep them until the day they die. So I got mine done. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And I did them 10 years ago. Okay. I do regret doing them. Because, Actually. Yeah. Um, I didn't go extreme with it, but right. um, I didn't really think it through. I was like, what, 22 when I got them? Okay. Yo, you're younger. Yeah. yeah. I w I'm considering explant. What's so that? that's like the new thing now where you take them out and that's it. Okay. Okay. Um, I, but not yet, maybe right. in a few years. Yeah. But yeah, they do come with a lot of, um, I don't know what, if it would be, what's the word? Ah, I just Responsibility? Um, they do require maintenance. Yes. Okay. So I was told that I need to get them redone after 15 years, yeah. but I got a checkup not long ago and they said it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Uh, so I don't know how long I'll have them for, mm -hmm. but yeah, now the new thing is like being more authentic and yeah. being okay with who you are as a person, 100%. which 10 years ago was not the case. Yeah. It was all about, you know, what do you look like? And like, there was a lot of yeah. insecurities around that. hundred percent. Yeah. And you're young. 22 is still fairly yeah. young. You think you can conquer the world. Mm -hmm. I had Alina. I got conceived at 23. Oh. I thought I fucking knew everything. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> I had my daughter at 18. Okay. Yeah. You know? And I thought I knew everything. And yeah. Like, and oh, God's sake. Like, <laughs> now no. I'm like, I don't even know anything now. Yeah. <laughs> I know nothing. I'm growing <laughs> still. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy. It's like, it's, it's all about acceptance. And that's, again, it's like with the, with the online dating, it's with the filters and all that stuff. People aren't yeah. authentic. They're, it, you can be this, this fake persona behind the screen. And you can be completely, completely different person than when you are in person. Um, and like recently I saw this, um, Spanish singer name is Carol G and what happened was she is all about loving her body. Mm -hmm. She's, she's, she just like, just love yourself essentially. Um, and then GQ, I don't know if it's, it was the cover or a page of it totally altered her face and her body. And she looked like a complete alien really? it was like her skin was super or her face was super sunk in it was long her eyes were very narrow and it looked nothing like her mm -hmm. and like not like celebrities so most celebrities don't say anything she like would just went off about it and she made this whole like big post about mm -hmm. it and like we are in that time now where you just gotta you gotta be real yeah like like we are going technically backwards in time because back in the day didn't have these things mm -hmm. But now we are getting back into that and it's quite, it's quite astonishing. And yeah, makeup in general is just scary. I'm sorry. Those women are talented. that could just yeah. change their face. Scary. Like those permanent ones too. Permanent makeup. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about those. Cause don't they like discolor? Cause that's maintenance well, yeah, too. Your skin kind of sags and like changes, right? So you're, it's like tattoos. Kind right. Of, but it's on your face. Yeah. It's like, I mean, like a tattoo on your body, you can kind of yeah, like hide. The, 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 the girls that get the eyeliner with the wing, mm -hmm. I'm like, that's going to look like a sad face yeah. in like 10 years. <laughs> First it goes up yeah. and then it goes down. <laughs> and then they're going to figure out why is it doesn't look the same. Yeah. Well, you're aging, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that makes, that makes sense. Um, yeah, it's a scary world if you actually. Yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's a, it's some, like, if you look at it now, it's like, it's becoming, it's a great time we're in, regardless Fair. of all the BS and mm -hmm, like, because mm -hmm. there's BS in every generation. Yeah. Like a lot of BS. But yeah. there's a lot of self-awareness now. Fair. It's rising and it's but becoming. But do you think it's too much? Well, there's in always going to be a twist to it. Right. Always. Yeah. And media is always going to kind of, you know, work Influence, it in some yeah. way that benefits yeah. whatever agenda is going on right um but it's okay to have that now before right. if you said oh the vibe is off like 10 years ago people would be like oh, what, what are you talking, talking about, about? <laughs> <laughs> now it's all about vibe it's yeah like, well i don't feel the vibe here yeah and, like people understand that term yeah it's like the energy like there's yeah. something weird about this yeah. yeah so it's it's nice to to have that mm -hmm. although yeah we are like i do miss my generation right because I think we had more connections with people and we had more like 
it was real. It wasn't behind a screen. Like, right. You didn't have all these phones. You played and... outside. You did yeah. things with people. Yeah, that was the same with me. You played in the backyard. You played with your neighbors. You played with the neighborhood kids. Mm -hmm. And you got bruises and injuries. And now kids are inside playing video games. Or they're staying inside houses to play because the outside is scary to these yeah. adults. Like, it's a little... We are raising them a little bit more softer. Mm -hmm. Um more sheltered like i've noticed that too even even myself like i am guilty for it um but it yeah it's 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 quite astonishing how we, we are in in a world where we should be grateful mm -hmm. because like it, it was worse back in the day we're not in like the war like imagine we're in the middle of the war right mm -hmm. like you would know i'm mm -hmm. sorry yeah. Yeah, yeah you would know yeah, would. yeah you would know yeah. so like that's what i'm saying like we should be very grateful that we have um this type of i guess stability in our homes like we're not scared of if we're gonna have a home the next day mm -hmm. that type of thing right yeah. we, we're not scared if our husbands or dads or moms are gonna come home like we, we would just we, there's there's certainty to this day mm -hmm. in a sense than it was back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. We are connected 24 seven, mm -hmm. but disconnected at the same time. We do Fair. have access. Like I can call you and be like, Hey, where are you at? Mm -hmm. Or like, are you okay? Or whatever, like in the moment. Right. Whereas before, like there was landlines and like, if you weren't home, I couldn't get a hold of you, but right. we had more of like, like the society was more kind of yeah. connected in mm -hmm. a way. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's valid, yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, yeah. like going outside, like the importance of getting sun and the importance of uh, right, you know, just being out there with the air, right. and, like not just being isolated in your house. Like I read an article the other day about like men in China and mm -hmm. they're thirty eight mm -hmm. living in their parents' basement or parents' house, right. wearing diapers because they don't want to get off their freaking game. You know, actually, yeah, and it's a real thing, and it's like, where is this going? Like, right, like how far is it? Like, that's gross. Imagine the diaper rash. <laughs> you, I don't even know. <laughs> oh my god! Like, like I've seen it in a baby. I can't. That was so my good. kid. I'd be like, get the fuck out. Yeah, <laughs> thirty-eight. Get out. Like, I don't even know why their parents are still sheltering them. Well, like <laughs> their culture is different. Like, that's a whole different yeah. topic. But like, usually the son gets it is given like everything. Mm -hmm. um, I could be completely wrong because I'm not from China, yeah. but it's, I know like they, the, the, the men, the boys, they carry the name. That's mm -hmm. why. So they do have those things. And I've seen guys actually know that they don't put a lot of effort in life knowing that when their parents die, everything gets given okay. to them. Yeah. So that could be the mentality behind that. Mm -hmm. Cause it's just easier again, just to sit down and not put effort in life and knowing it's going to get handed to you. Mm -hmm. Right. And I know some cultures are like that. And it's, it is very unfortunate because I do see some of my girlfriends that do get, I, I don't know. They're, they're like, they're very helpful with their families, but yet their brothers are, they get everything. They get everything without putting yeah. effort. It's like it, that it's, in my culture too. Like the Middle East. Right. It's always the boy that gets everything. I guess in the freaking Latin community too. Really? I just thought about it. I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah. Ugh, yeah. This gross. <laughs> and that's how men go as little boys because they want a mom as a wife instead of a wife as a wife. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah, it's quite gross. I think I'm forever going to stay single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, sure I still have hate. <laughs> There's the right person for everyone. But okay. what if what if you got brought into this like life without actually you just have a purpose and you don't have a partner, which could be the case. Sometimes. Yeah, but you'll never. I know you'll never know until you try. Yeah. But shit, it's exhausting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is it? Like, oh, you're so pretty. Like, why are you? Why, why are, are you single? single? You should smile more. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm bleeding out of my vagina. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Why not going to smi smile more. <laughs> Are you smiling now? <laughs> no. Did, it, did that did that disturb you? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, like it's it's the stuff that that people say. And I again, like I'm I don't I don't think I'm a, a typical individual as far as like a female. Um 
as far as like having my own business and going what I go through and giving my daughter things that I've never had and like working hard, like growing up, my mom, she didn't have the hustle that I have as like a mom. And she was with my dad, toxic relationship. Don't get me wrong. Mm. Um, but she didn't, she like used men. She essentially used men, whether it was, she was finding love or to fill this void in her heart, whatever it may be, Mm -hmm. it affected all of us. Yeah. Um, and I, I told myself that I, once I had my daughter and I finally made the decision to just separate from her dad, I just was like, I can't, I cannot live this way. And the way I lived as a child, I cannot do that to her. So it just, it was, it was a switch. Right. And like with online dating, it's, I'm putting her into that. And yeah. It's, it's quite scary. Scary. Yeah. Like I just, and I did that a couple times. Uh, one major time when I moved in with my ex at the time, that was the biggest mistake I've probably ever made in my life mm. of moving in with my kid with him. I, psh, psh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> yeah, because it's no longer just your life. It's someone else's life. Yeah. Too. And I've noticed that it's hard for another man to take another child that's mm-hmm. not his there's no like same respect like he doesn't know how to treat him he's worried about like how the kid's gonna say well you're not my dad and i'm like at the time she was only like two and a half Mm -hmm. three i'm like she's not gonna say that she has a big heart like if you see how loving she is she'll respect you because i'll make sure she respects you um but it just those fears like naturally you'll just get consume someone Mm -hmm. if they keep on thinking about it so yeah online dating is scary because you just never know what you're gonna get like for a moment um, on, with online dating, I wouldn't put that I have a kid. Never. Yeah, I'm the same. Because I was worried. I'm like, I don't want to attract a pedophile 100%. into my life. Yeah. Who's, you know, looking to molest a child. Mm-hmm. But I put it in. I put it in, but I didn't make it visible. Right. So whoever has on their profile that they don't want kids and they are not okay with someone right. with kids, I wouldn't connect with them. Right. You know? Yeah. But I got a lot of hate from men for not making it visible like why are you hiding it it's like i'm not hiding it i told you before Mm -hmm. we actually met Mm -hmm. like before we even went on a date i made sure to tell you that yeah i do have right a a child who's not a child anymore she's 15 yeah (laughs) still still your child though it's my child child. yeah but it doesn't come with that responsibility as you know like a little kid kid. yeah like i can still go out with you we can still have our time because i don't need to worry about babysitter coming right you know i don't have to deal with that at this stage but a lot of men get freaked out yeah and it's because they're not men they're they're little boys boys. yeah and they're not willing or ready for that yeah fair yeah yeah so yeah i got a lot of bashing on that yeah (laughs) i've gone that too i've gone like back and forth and yeah, I've, I've actually known guys that once I have kids or once I tell them I had a kid, um, we go on a couple dates and you can tell they're not really, um, what's it, like nurturing, mm-hmm. like you can just tell. Um, and if like a guy never asks me, how's Alina? I, you don't, like they don't realize that there's two of us. Yeah, yeah. And I always tell a guy that I'm dating, if you're going to buy me flowers, you're buying her flowers. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit who you are. Yeah. If you can't maintain that, you cannot be in our lives. Mm-hmm. Like, because I want her to know how... That she's loved and yes. she's cared for. And-, and she's not just like an option yeah. when I'm going out with someone. Mm-hmm. She's not going to be put to the side. Like, yeah. that's not okay with me. Um, So for the longest time, like, I was trying to like, you know, just make them understand that and for the longest time whenever i got a bouquet of flowers i always took one out gave it back to him and like give it to my daughter mm-hmm. like you gotta this is what you need to do and most of them don't have kids mm-hmm. so i don't expect them to know right so um i only dated i think one guy with a kid um that ended terribly yeah and it was he was a very loving father he was he he, he loved her like he was a full-time dad mm-hmm. um and I, his relationship towards me was completely different. And uh, yeah, it, it just, it just sucked. Like he loved her and I can tell, and I, I cared for her too. Mm-hmm. Whenever he needed to buy her something, I would just, um, or wanted to, um, I was just, I would just offer. Yeah. Like I'll just buy it for her. Like I, I don't mind doing that. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's quite sad that it ended, but it ended mm-hmm. because I really, really loved the guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
It's okay. <laughs> Shit happens. You got the memories. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's, those memories. Those guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's 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 hard. And I, I've with online dating, like actually the other day um, or the other time, there was a guy. Uh, I told him like, I'm just really busy. I have a kid. And he's like, oh, like I have a business too. And I'm a single dad. And I'm just like, oh, okay. He's like, but he's free anytime during the week. Okay. And so like the head, kids like, are with the mom? Exactly. And I'm just like, so don't, don't be say, oh, me too. And then saying I'm free anytime. You don't know the responsibility then. Mm -hmm. You don't understand. And clearly you just said, let me know when you're free. And you didn't try to fully figure out because he's like, well, just let me know when you're free. And then he's, we stopped talking for like two weeks. Okay. And I'm just like, so if he's probably waiting for a response, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, that's the thing with women, like men think, okay, she'll let me know. But in a woman, it, women don't operate like that. No, like, you know, you, know, if you don't think keep differently. the conversation going and yeah. if you don't show that you still care and you yeah. want to know how my day went. Yeah. I'm not going to message you. Yeah. That's exactly it. Uh, you have no interest in me. Mm -hmm. So why am I going to engage when you're like, hey, are you free anytime soon? Yeah. Like if you're going to be like, oh, I'm just not like that texting type of person. Why the fuck are you in the app? Yeah. Go to the bar. Or <laughs> pick up the phone and call. That's it. <laughs> if you don't want to text, call. Oh, they don't have my number. Yeah, oh, okay. that's not going to happen. Yeah, but they can still call on apps, no? Some can apps. They? Oh, okay. Some apps. I'm on like Facebook dating. Oh, okay. I there. don't think they have it. Yeah. <laughs> It's very discreet. You can't even yeah. like add the person until you actually have to find them. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very discreet. Yeah. Or you can like show your profile. Mm -hmm. It's like an option that says show your profile. It's, qu it's quite interesting. So. Yeah. yeah, I've never tried that one. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a lot of on, on Hinge. I use Hinge a lot. Never been on Tinder though. Yeah. Um, they would be like, oh, send me your number. I'd be like, no, I don't want to. Like, I'll give you my number after we meet. Right. It's yeah. Like, well, you know, you can just block me. If you don't, if you don't want me to contact you, I'm like, well, why would I like have a bunch of like numbers Random that are numbers. blocked on my yeah. phone? Why put myself through that? Hell no. yeah. Hell yeah. Like just, it's just annoying. <laughs> yeah. And then they like, they know you're, it, it's just, I think it's just a form of personal information mm -hmm. that you just don't want to give out. Exactly. Because at that point, like, it's just. I got unmatched a lot for that though. That's weird. That's yeah. super weird. That's like, again, it's an ego thing. Yeah. Like just because she said no and she's like, has her reasons. He's like, I'm done. Yeah. Like, that, imagine that. harder situations. Mm -hmm. Imagine trying to pick up a cake. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that would lead to a breakup. That's it. Done. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah. Chocolate or vanilla? Like <laughs> rainbow. Oh my god. Look at the rainbow. <laughs> yeah, there's an app actually, and it's for celebrities. Right. But you pay for it. It's like I don't know, forty bucks a month, and to get on it, it, to get on it. Apparently, it's not like celebrities, but it's known to be for like all the rich people in Vancouver and other. And you gotta pay to get on it. You gotta pay to get on it, and you not only you gotta pay to get on it. You gotta know at least people who, two people who have it. Oh sh. That can give like verify you or like something. Like a referral. Like yeah, you need a referral for it. It's, it's really like. I need to find some rich people. But the funny thing about this app is my friend got it. Okay. She's like uh she. She's all about that. So right. she got that app and for like a month. Right. And like she would match with these, these men. Mm -hmm. Like they would match with her, but no conversation going. Actually. Yeah. So it's like the same thing. Same shit. And then I'm like, well, like because they're, I'm assuming, I don't know, Rich. because they're richer, they, they think that the girl should, you know, Ew. start the conversation Ew. with them. Because it's the even ego, worse. It's even worse their than ego, people with no money. Yeah, their ego's a lot bigger. <laughs> so, yeah. No, thank you. There's a lot of weird apps out there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ew. So, a few days ago, I was like, okay, so I have all these stories in my head about online dating, but I want to see what other women have gone through. Fair. Okay. And I searched it up, and what I, I found a few very interesting stories. And I'm going to read one of them. Okay. Okay. So this one, I had been talking to this guy I met on Tinder for a couple of weeks and he seemed nice enough. One day I posted on Snapchat that I was going to, to get a coffee and he writes back asking to join. I agree and give him the name of the place where I was going to be. I sit down and the waitress, waitress takes my order, a caramel latte, 
he enters and we say our hellos. Conversation-wise, it was fine, nothing too exciting, but not horrible. We were both Dominican, so we bonded. And red flags! <laughs> oh, really? That's all you have to say! Oh my god! I'll keep I going! I dated a Dominican before. I am absorbed in this story now. Yeah. Keep going. Keep this is great. Okay. That guy ghosted me, by the way. I don't he, know they're why. so weird. They're so weird. We were really hitting it off, you Ugh. know, and he seemed mature. He's like 38. So I was like, okay, this no, guy, you know. No. No. They never mature. My apparently. Dominican, <laughs> we were like sitting down watching TV and he was scrolling beside me looking for girls. No way. And then he started talking to some and I'm like, you can leave. Yeah. Oh. Get out. <laughs> Continue. So, <laughs> um, so we bonded over that, okay. but he was good looking and he knew it. So a lot of the conversation became about him. Another red flag. He orders his coffee and two appetizers, then another two and another two. So this oh. guy has ordered like six appetizers already. He'll be hungry. When he gets the last one, he offers me some, but I decline because I have plans after to eat with my friends. Okay. So at this point, I have had one coffee, and he's had six appetizers and a coffee. Now, this place isn't cheap. <laughs> My latte was $7, and all the apps they sell are $14 plus. Holy. When the check comes, I take out 10 out of my wallet and put it on the table. He looks at me and says, aren't we going to split the bill? <laughs> okay, what's your, your, like, is that, like, why do men do that? I would have walked out. I Even would've... if we both order the same thing, if you're splitting the bill on the first date, you're out. Like, that's it. Like, don't go to an expensive place. Yeah, or that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or just li- simply just go for coffee. I started laughing because, oh of course, he must be kidding. Like, this girl's like, no way, this guy's for real. <laughs> Little did she know. <laughs> <laughs> It's very common here. Very common. Oh, God. He must be kidding since I didn't even mm. have one bite of the app. Mm-mm. And the check is over 100 now. Holy. He's not laughing, so I realize he's not kidding. I tell him I'm not paying since I didn't eat anything. He says, so? That was your decision. <laughs> 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 well, he did offer her some food and she declined. It doesn't mean that she needs to pay for a half. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. At this point, I really don't want to argue. So I just stand and tell him to have a good day. He started yelling at the restaurant, <gasps> saying all these insults about me and saying how this could have been a real relationship. Oh, actually. But, like oh, okay. she ruined it for him. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> the end. The end of that Start relationship over. that never started. <laughs> oh my God. He had like... I think he created something in his head. How did he justify that, though? They don't. That's why he started screaming <laughs> and insulting her. Yeah, he turned into a little child. Yeah. Like yeah. a tantrum at the restaurant. Mom, pay for my food. Like, no. Ah! <laughs> How dare you? Oh, my God. That, oh, my God. That would be wild. Yeah. What is this one? So I matched with a guy who I developed a deep emotional connection with really quickly. We met and everything was amazing. The perfect guy for me. Suddenly, he asked me to move to Florida with him after only a, just only a week of talking. <laughs> when I declined, he decided not to go because he wanted to see where things would go with us. Red flag number one. Yeah. We moved on from that. And then a week later, he started calling me up drunk, saying I was too good for him and deserved better. <laughs> When I pressured him for an answer on why he was feeling this way, he wouldn't admit why. Typical. Yeah. And kept dodging it. Ultimately, though, he finally admitted to me that he was selling heroin and had no way. Oh. <laughs> so these, did they date? Like at no, all? No, no, I don't think they were dating. She just had an emotional attachment. Oh, okay. So they were probably texting for a while. Yeah. Then. Talk about the shock of a lifetime. I cut off all contact and told him to never talk to me again. He was selling heroin. Heroin. Like, what? And he had no way out. And then 
He wanted her to move there? To Florida. Was he trying to no, get an assistant Florida or something? Florida people are a different No, level. weird, girl. I went there and oh my God. <laughs> Let's feed the crocodiles. Oh alligators. my God. Okay, so story about Florida. <laughs> um, I met this guy. <laughs> oh, oh God, how many stories I have. <laughs> okay, I met this guy. Yeah. In December. Was it December? No, it was November. It was November. He came here for like a business thing. Right. Okay. And I was like bored. I had the app. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, it was my day off. And I was like, well, you know, this guy's not even from here. So right. I'll go out for drinks and then I'd never see him again. Right. Okay. Yeah. He seemed like an interesting guy. Like we had, a, we had, we spoke a bit. I posted this thing about dolphins and how dolphins <laughs> are aggressive. Okay. Yeah. As much as, as cute as they look, they're actually aggressive. That's everything. So apparently there's so many dolphins in Miami. <laughs> this guy is like, oh yeah, um, that's very true. I'm glad you know that or something. Like right. that's how the conversation started. And then we meet for drinks. The guy has two kids. They're older. Okay. We really hit it off. Like he's spiritual. Like yeah, yeah. he like listens to similar podcasts. Like it went very well, right. to be honest. And I was like, damn, like guy's not even here like why does it have to go well with the ones that are not available right. Again? Right. yeah <laughs> they the day ends next day he's like hey what are you doing you want to hang out right i was like okay i really like this guy yeah, yeah. again i have some issues i need to work on <laughs> we all do it's okay we all do i do i always yeah. go for the wrong ones <laughs> yeah and then yeah. i meet up with him again we hit it off very well yeah um we spend the night together and then i was like okay i'm probably never gonna see this guy again right i had a good time i'm mm -hmm. not gonna get attached same shit i say to myself i'm the same way i'm time. the same way <laughs> no attachment yeah he's gonna leave soon yeah yeah they don't anyways leave. after six days of meeting up every single day i was like like this guy's spending his time he, he <laughs> yeah it's because he is spending his time with you yeah. he's, he's, he's sacrificing the way you're sacrificing exactly yeah. and he's like here on vacation so he could be on the app with 100%. different girls every day so i'm like in my mind i'm like okay i must be special yeah yeah no we're not <laughs> and then um unfortunately last day um I, last last day not last day no the day before the last day okay. i'm like okay, i need to be like open with this guy because mm -hmm. i can't get hurt again i don't want to get right. too attached so I'm like talking to him. I'm like, listen, like we really hit it off, but you're leaving soon. And I don't know where this is going to go. Right. So let's talk about this. Mm -hmm. We're mature. We're adults. Why yeah. can't we talk about it? You would think. And then, <laughs> and then we talk about it. He's like, you know, I don't do long distance. This is not going to work. I was like, okay, enjoy the last day here. Mm -hmm. I think it was a Friday night. His last day was Saturday. Right. And then he leaves Sunday morning. Okay. I'm like, enjoy your last time, last day here. Mm -hmm. um, I wish you the best of luck. It was great meeting you. I had a great time. Right. But I can't, yeah, I can't keep doing this. Yeah. He's like, okay. We say our goodbyes. I leave. Calls me Saturday night 20 times. Where are you? Um, apparently he was like at a bar somewhere and some, some people were trying to like, some girls were trying to get the, get him to pay for the bill or something. Yeah. I don't know. And then I was like, I was asleep because yeah, yeah. I'm tired, right? Yeah. And then I was like, the next morning, I'm like, what the fuck? Like 20 missed calls. Yeah, that's calls. a lot. Sunday morning. So I call him. I'm like, are you okay? Is everything okay? Yeah. Again, stupid me. I'm yeah. Like, and then it was it was that time where there was a snowstorm. Okay. No answer. So I'm like, okay, fuck. Like, I don't know if this guy's okay. So I'm going to go. I drive there to his Airbnb and he's there. Perfectly fine. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, hey, I, I was just worried. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. Yeah. Because you have that guilt. Like, you know, like he called and I didn't answer and of I don't course. know what's yeah, going yeah. on. Yeah. Anyways, so their last goodbye, I left. Mind you, this was during a snowstorm. I drove all the way to North Vancouver. <laughs> and then um, he leaves, keeps texting, keeps message. Like, oh, he's still like it, engaging. It's in, you know, okay. calls me, FaceTimes me. Okay. Myra, for three months, we're FaceTiming every day. Okay. We are texting every day. Okay. Like, if this guy was here, we would not be in that. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, I'm, and I'm not even pushing it, you know? Right. And I had the conversation with him. He was like, no, like, I'm not. And I was mm. like, okay, fine. 
And then um, he's like, oh, why don't you come over okay. to Miami? Yeah. So I was like, okay, why not? Yeah, it's yeah. a trip. Vacation. Vacation. Not... I need a vacation. Did he pay? Four days. Somewhat. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay, okay. I go. Okay. We spend four days. Great time. Right. And then I come here and then everything stops. No way. Everything like cold turkey? Cold. In my head, I'm confused. I'm like, what the fuck? 100%. <laughs> so one week later, I message. I'm just like, hey, I just want to know like what's going on. Yeah. Like everything was good. And then after I came back, Things are not so good anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Like, mm -hmm. be honest. He's like, no, I've just been busy. He had a boat show or something. He's okay. like a yacht broker. And he's like, I've just been really busy and I have the kids. And he had like, and it was like the ball ball game or something. And he's all about okay, yeah, football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he's going to know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have names or yeah faces. no names yeah we're good we're good he's like no everything's fine he calls me facetimes me but it's not the same yeah so i'm like why can't he just be honest like what's going on yeah and then he had a trip to the dominican for like a week he's the dominic okay yeah yeah girl <laughs> oh keep no going. it was my first dominican and last <laughs> And then um, mm -mm, mm -mm. he's gone for a week. Nothing. No messages. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Although he was like, I'll send you pics and I'll send you videos. Did he? He sent me like two. Oh, this. Yeah. And then it was like dry. And then he comes back and he's like, oh, I extended my trip to the Dominican. That's why I have been like, I've been busy, but yeah. I'm back to Florida now. Right. So okay. Like, oh, okay. Great. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. And that was the end of it. Wow. No message, no text, no call. He was no longer in invested or interested. No. And it's like, why ask me to go there? We already we already hooked up. Yeah. <laughs> you were here. Yeah. We hooked up. Yeah. Why engage with me for three months? You know? Like because he was bored. I think he was And then was what? Bored. He was like and then he probably then he got busy. He probably got hens in Dominican. Like, <laughs> Dominican hinge. <laughs> Dominican hinge. Yes. That's it. And now he's like on the next one. Yeah. And still opened my stories, still checks on my Instagram. Actually, yeah. It's like that's weird. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Like when do you mature? <laughs> like when can you be honest? I find that whenever there's confrontation or like that's weird. They're uncomfortable with that. They yeah. don't want to talk. Yeah, a lot of a lot of adult men don't know how to talk emotions. Like, I'd like to be friends. Like, I don't, like, I, there's no, right. I'm mature enough yeah. to be like, we can be friends. Like, yeah. it doesn't have to be anything. He can simply just be like, this is just not, not working, working out for me. Yeah. But instead of just, we'll just, I'm just going to ghost you I'm and gonna still ghost like, you see and your stories. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for entertainment. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Dominicans. Watch, you're going to hate on Dominicans. Right <laughs> have you dated? You've dated Especially Dominican. With me being Spanish. I'm going to get so much hate on Dominicans. Oh. <laughs> You've seen it all. <laughs> okay. En enough of that. I'd like to go there one day, though. Go. Um, yeah, you should. You actually should. There's, there's some be very beautiful, very beautiful places. I've seen a lot of beautiful like, like, what is it, um, pictures and Punta videos. Cana, like, that's, oh my God. Just, it's tropical. Yeah. Like, but once you're, once you're in the city, it, it just looks like a city. Like, it's kind of like, you know, it's a, it just looks like a city. Like, mm. hotels, homes. But if you're, like, on the, the outer part, there's some beautiful tropical beaches and there's beautiful stays there yeah mm -hmm. uh, that's a, that's somewhere i want to go as well yeah and to travel yeah yeah you have any more stories you have another story mm -hmm. let me let me read another one this one okay i met a guy on hinge he was very interested in meeting after light chatting for a few weeks but didn't want to do so at a bar or restaurant instead he wanted to meet in a park I went and he seemed fine, said he just moved to the city and was crashing with his cousin. After our meeting, he continued to message me, call me pet names, what? <laughs> say he knew we weren't meant to be, and convinced me to let him come over. Okay. Against my better judgment, I did. Oh, no. Yeah, and was creeped out by overly familiar he was, acting like we were already dating. He also commented on my wine collection, saying we'll have to drink the nicest bottle on our anniversary. Well, anniversary. 
it's day one. Wa- people are like this. I believe this woman because I've seen oh, it. Shit. After a while of him trying to cuddle me, I politely asked him to leave. Afterward, he sent me overtly sexual messages and I asked him to stop contacting me, at which point he lashed out, hmm. called me names and commented on my weight. Oh, no. Blocked no. him. A couple weeks later, I logged into the app and he came up as I was swiping, claiming my neighborhood as we were, as where he lived and even posting a pic of the view from my balcony. Shit. I reported everything to Hinge and they very quickly took care of it as he violated the user agreement with the name calling. Yeah. So he literally went to this woman's house, took pictures and basically made another profile with those, those pictures, pictures claiming he lives there. Oh my god. Well, he probably lives in a shitty place. 100%. Oh yeah. He wanted to meet at the park cuz he didn't want to pay for the date. <laughs> I think he lived at the park. <laughs> probably that. <laughs> he lived at the park. His house was he literally had a tent there in the bush behind. <laughs> Could be that, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, this one's short. I met up with a guy on Tinder and it seemed to be going okay. We went back to his apartment for drinks and he excused himself for a moment, then returned to the living room naked. Full on (laughs) naked. Have you ever experienced that? I ran back to my car and met up with a friend at the bar and I ended up meeting the guy I've been with for the past five years from running out of the apartment and meeting up with my friend. So it didn't end all bad. Oh. Okay. Oh. (laughs) He was butt ass naked. (laughs) Do they think that's attractive? Like when they send like dick pics? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Like, Can oh you handle God. this? No. <laughs> what? Like, bro, it's not a tool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I love it when they're like this angle. You see their toes. <laughs> oh, I have a story about a client. Okay. Um. Okay, this client. He sends nudes to someone he met online. Lord. Online, okay? Okay. So they, the girl blackmails him. Yeah, so you the don't nudes. do it. The girls are she much She wants money. Nasty. Of course. And he was like, he didn't think she'd go through with it. So he's like, <laughs> he totally like disregarded it. Yeah. <laughs> she ends up sending it to his mom, oh. to his sister, because she had his like Instagram and she knew. Oh, she already did her research. She sent it to everyone, everyone. Even his barber got the picture. <laughs> <laughs> she just didn't care. She did not care. And he did not care. It's like, it's my dad. <laughs> he still came to the shop and got haircut. <laughs> and everyone knew about the story you can't get rid of a good barber he loved his barber yeah. <laughs> men will cheat on their woman but will not <laughs> cheat on their barbers 100 <laughs> percent facts yeah oh my yeah. god they won't even ruin that relationship they'll keep them yeah. some people do ruin it but i'm like then you don't value the haircut yeah. that's a you that's a you problem. yeah that's a you problem yeah that's wild though mm-hmm. that's such a oh my god Ima- imagine <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh god okay so i have another one this one was just weird i went on a date with a guy from match we met at a wine bar and he immediately told me he had multiple other dates scheduled for that same day oh this guy does not waste time <laughs> okay, valid. Productive. okay okay yeah he then claimed he could communicate with dolphins in a special <laughs> Okay, you, do that you, know, you know what dolphins do? They sexually harass humans. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, they do. They actually do, yeah, I believe. <laughs> he then claimed he communicate with dolphins in a special language and proceeded to lecture me because I did not practice transcend- transcendental medi- meditation. Meditation. <laughs> How do you even pronounce that word? transcendental what's transcendental uh, i'm gonna look it up right now i don't even know yeah and i meditate <laughs> Tran- i think that's like i'm gonna like silent mantra oh it's just it's just meditation it's just oh it's just meditation yeah yeah huh 
Yeah, close your eyes, practice 20 minutes a day. Yeah, okay. yeah, same thing. But, like, why would yeah. you, like, lecture someone on that? People are weird. Um, what is it? Let's see here. To lecture me because I did not practice meditation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Needless to say, I chugged my glass of wine, paid the bartender, and got the heck out of there. Maybe he had better luck with one of his other dates that day. Well, good for her. A hundred percent. Definitely. Like, that's such a... Oh, oh, that's weird. Okay, where's this one? Okay, I have... Okay, I'm gonna do one more. I have a few on here. All right. Um, okay, so I matched with this man on Bumble. One night he wanted to meet up and I couldn't because of the work commitments. He initially brushed it off and we agreed on another time. Then, that same night, he started messaging me again, offering me money, drugs, and designer purses to come over. I politely declined. <laughs> then he started messaging me a bunch of burner cell phone numbers, think Google Voice, pretending to be a woman saying how much I was missing out on by not hanging out with him, which I oh ignored. Oh my god. That's some extra Desperation. stuff. Desperation? Yeah. <laughs> the next night, I come home from being out with my friends and find the NYPD outside of my building because they got a report of a suspicious man scaling the fire escape. Oh, I explained no. that I live in the building and I needed to get my dog who was in my apartment. Once they realized the apartment that the man was trying to break in into was my apartment, I had officers escort me upstairs to get my dog and bring me to the animal friendly hotel. I had to stay there until I was able to speak with detectives. They arrested this man and charged him with aggravated stalking, aggravated harassment and attempted breaking and entering. They also granted me a restraining order. I had to move as a result. Oh my God, that went really bad. Like you had to move your home because of a match, not even a date. No. He wanted to meet up, and she said no because of work commitments. Yeah. yeah. That's insane. That's why you don't give your phone it's number. Horrifying. That's yeah. Why <laughs> yeah. Like, this is the reason why. No. That's a never. bit much. And no. I complain about mine. Yeah. <laughs> that's a whole restraining order yeah. happening right there. Moving homes. <laughs> yeah. No. I guess that's all. that's all for today. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. We really do appreciate it. Let us know what you think about the podcast for today. Please like, subscribe, follow. Um, my Instagram is Myra Favorite Barber, and Sama's is Sama the Barber. <laughs> We're both barbers. We'll put it in there. We'll put it in there yes. in between the scissors. That's yeah. why. So, yeah, and um, let us know what topics you want to talk about for the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.